The name of um, this project is actually whether snow can save the fate of Antarctic sea ice. If you think about it, we have this vast amount of sea ice in Antarctica, but covering all of that sea ice is a blanket of snow. Snow acts in two ways. One of it, it, it reflects a lot of sunlight. So it kind of acts like one of those sun shields in a car that you have on a hot day. If you take that sun shield away, your car is going to get really, really hot. And this is the same as happens on the sea ice. As long as we have a snow cover, we can keep that ice underneath that snow cover cool, which means it will melt less. The second part why snow is important is because snow is a really good insulator. Insulating whatever is beneath from either the cold atmosphere in winter or from the warm atmosphere in summer. So right now, wherever we have snow, the sea ice is much colder. Where we don't have snow, the sea ice is much warmer and will melt faster. So this is spectra uh, because it measures solar radiation. It is so big because it carries several instruments the instrument looking upward and downward. And they measure the solar radiation coming from the atmosphere and the sun, and the solar radiation reflected from the surface. She's now rising at 50. Ah, yeah. So now at 16, 17. Yeah. We should make it. And why we do these measurements? Because it's important to know the energy that is reflected from the surface to know the surface energy budget and how it is changing. If the ice restricts and if the snow decreases, the surface becomes much darker and it means that it absorbs much more sunlight and gets heated and prevent further ice formation and this will uh, in start a positive feedback that will further enhance the warming. So the question is what will happen with snow? Will we have more snow in the future? Which means we will insulate some more in summer and maybe lose less of that sea ice? Or will we have even less snow in the future which means we will have even less sea ice? It's just that it's a thing that we don't know but if we keep studying snow we will be able to answer, determine the uncertainties about how the sea ice around Antarctica might change in the future. With our drones we are capable of surveying the surface of the snow. We can look from above how it looks like, but to actually understand the whole snow cover and the role it plays, we are opening the snow cover because the drone is only able to look at the surface. We are measuring different kinds of snow physical properties which have different effects on the installation power of the snowpack. And so we're opening a snowpack right now. We have about like 23 centimeters of snow and I'm going to do some temperature measurements. At the surface of the snow we have around roughly around minus 5 degrees Celsius. And if we now go down to the ice snow interface, which is here at the bottom, where you see those like loose grains, and we insert the thermometer in here at around zero centimeter snow depth, we actually have a temperature below minus eight, which is at least a three degree difference. We try to capture this difference in um, a more detailed way, which means we do centimeter to five centimeter um, steps of temperature measurements to actually capture the different um, temp temperatures of the layers of the snow. And sometimes because of the big temperature difference um, between the relatively warm sea ice or ground and the cold atmospheric temperatures like the air temperatures, um, there is a steep like temperature gradient and the crystals start to form so-called um, depth thaw crystals. They can be up to a couple of centimeters um, and they are kind of faceted grains so they have like a really beautiful shape. They are really important because um, they, they have a really big effect on the insulating properties of the snow cover. 
even though there is a lot of snow on, on Arctic sea ice, not much research was done in the past, like really looking into the snow. And so we are trying to start to close this gap to actually really understand what the snow cover does and what kind of role it plays from the snow surface down to the sea ice interface. We're actually planning to do more field work in the upcoming years. We want to investigate um, the snow cover at different locations in Antarctica to really get the bigger picture.